And finally, best of all, here's what I know. Kelvin Sampson is our new head men's basketball coach. And now, can you all please stand and help me welcome Coach Sampson, his wife Karen, and their two children, Lauren and Kellen. Come on up, Coach. Good to see my man um, Jay Harden and Pat Beverly here. Before I go any further, um, I, I, I want to say this. Um, mistakes were made, lessons were learned. While I don't agree with all the conclusions that the NCAA made, I respect their decision and I respect the NCAA as an institution. The head coach is responsible for his program. I will be responsible for our staff at the University of, at the University of Houston. Compliance will be a highest priority, and our staff will understand that. I appreciate the opportunity to be here. I appreciate the opportunity to be the head coach at the University Oh, here it is, right here. Which one is it? <laughs> there you go. I was thinking, I think that was a uh, Arizona State Sun Devil I was doing. <laughs> uh, there's, some, there's some people, though, that I, I would like to uh, thank. But before I do, I, I also want to introduce my uh, wife, Karen. Karen, would you please stand? <clears throat> My daughter, my daughter, Lauren. And the newest member of our uh, coaching staff, uh, Kellen Sampson. Also, I would like to thank um, some people that are very, very dear to me, uh, starting with R.C. Buford, the general manager for the San Antonio Spurs, Greg Popovich, who I had a 45-minute uh, conversation with uh, yesterday afternoon. Um, John Hammond, general manager for the Milwaukee Bucks, and Scott Skiles, uh, former head coach for Mil Milwaukee Bucks. And also, like Mac, I'd also like to thank Mr. Alexander, uh, Todd, uh, Tad Brown, especially Daryl Morey. Daryl was uh, all of our bosses, but the, the atmosphere that he creates um, you know, we're, we're all in a partnership and making the Houston Rockets the best we, we could. And through Daryl's leadership, that's happening. And um, the fact that uh, James and um, Pat, Pat's got a uh, torn meniscus, but, you know, a torn meniscus for some people would be a, um, uh, I don't know, something put them out for a year. But what's, what's it been now, Pat, 10 days a week? Uh, that's about time you play. He'll be, he'll be back here uh, pretty soon. I always said pain's an opinion. Some people have a low opinion of it. Some people have a high opinion. Pat's got a low opinion of it. Then uh, James Harden. I think it tells you the kind of person James is, is that, you know, 
his, uh, his assistant coach, the guy that works probably most closely with him, is having a press conference. He's an NBA all-star, and here, he's here at the press conference. All you need to know about James Harden. Now, people ask why uh, go back to college uh, when, when you have one of the um, best non-head coaching jobs in the NBA is, uh, for me, real simple. Um, I, I like being a head coach. I loved working with uh, Kevin McHale, uh, who I think does an unbelievable job with the Rockets, with our entire staff, but um, uh, I, I think I'm geared, geared to be a head coach and, and uh, run my program. I have strong beliefs and what I think is important uh, in the way we play, um, some things are non-negotiable, and it starts with your attitude and your effort. Those things are not negotiable. Um, teaching kids the difference in uh, playing hard versus competing, it's another thing that's not negotiable, uh, and we plan to win. You know, um, every program that, and I don't like to say the word I, I like to say the word we, every, every program that our family's been at where we've been. Um, we've found a way to win, and I think it starts with a partnership. Um, President Couture and Mac Rhodes are two of the, the, the best visionaries that I've been around in college athletics. They have a clear idea of where they want to take this institution. Um, not just athletically, but listen to, to Dr. Couture go on and on about all the great things that are happening in academia and in the university. You, know, you, you get excited about that. You're the basketball coach, but you're part of a university family. And I just want to be part of the family. I'm, I'm the basketball coach. Somebody is the dean of the School of um, Engineering or English department. You know, we have similar roles within the university. One's a little bit more um, uh, public than the other. So I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to uh, get on the court. I think we actually got a little uh, Scrimmage today, maybe. <laughs> Found out it's been a while since I've been in college, so I had to get acclimated to some of the new rules. But you can actually um, uh, work out two hours a week. And I heard we had an hour and a half left. <laughs> so, uh, but we do have two days left in the week, so I'm, we can go 45 and uh, 45. So it's good to be back um, in the saddle. I'm excited to be the head coach at the uh, University of Houston. Um, and I do want to um, reiterate what Max said about James Dickey. Uh, I met with the team today uh, in between classes at around noon. Um, high character kids, uh, they want to win. Uh, I looked at all their academic records. They're all in good shape academically, and I think that's a testament to James uh, and his staff. So um, I'm sure we'll have questions when, when, uh, later, but so I want to let people know how excited I am to be here. Uh, thank everybody for coming out today, and uh, go Cougs.